Happy Friday, everybody. It is finally a Friday, and we are thrilled to be here with another episode of No Dump Bucket. A little bit peculiar setting this time around. We had to start a little bit later, had a couple meetings to take care of, and obviously everyone knows at this point in time that our nation is besieged by a national or a natural catastrophe, the likes of which we've never seen before. So I think we can kind of dispel with the 100-year storms and the 500-year storms and just finally come to the conclusion that these are storms of just really unbelievable proportions because of pick your poison. Global warming, climate change, uh, too much development, we don't care. Right now we're gonna talk about wine. We're gonna talk about one of my absolute favorite wines there is in the world from one of my favorite producers. And then we're also gonna talk about Tejas because we've got a lot of friends down in Texas that are suffering. Uh, one friend who is not suffering, by the way, is Dan Goderas from Iowa. Dan, thank you for the alarm clock that said, where is no dump bucket this evening? I don't want to say that we were going to postpone, but it is a little bit later than usual because we had some other things to take care of. So let's talk about what we're tasting tonight. The fabulous 2009 Degadillo Cellars Cabernet Sauvignon. All right. That's it. Got it. Get it. Got it. Good. Uh, it's Amazing to me what the Degadillo sellers, there's a lot of background noise from outside. I don't know what that's from. Our sound editor is going to be fired. Um, really? <laughs> so Degadillo sellers came to us in 2011. We were humbled to be introduced to Ignacio Degadillo by a former Cellar Angels winery partner, Moda Saparanda and Jason Moore. So. We learned of them in 2011, six years ago. We have featured Degadillo Cellars five times on the Cellar Angel site. We are humbled by the fact that we're the only channel that he will choose to showcase his wines other than the website. So now, why is this wine special? First of all, 100% Cabernet. Second of all, and this is highly unique in the Valley. They age their wine a minimum of three years in barrel usually followed by four or five years in bottle. Kerry McGill, this might be one you're gonna get mad at me that uh, you're gonna probably have to put in your cellar. Because the 2009s from Degadillo have been aging for an impressive eight years. Damon Gray, hello partner, happy Friday. Okay, so eight years aging. So give this a little bit of time to open up. I would recommend decanting. I'm not that fresh after a nap of eight years. I don't know how the wine is gonna be. But I find it astounding that they age their wines eight years prior to release. And that was something that Ignacio Degadillo Sr. insisted upon. He wanted to make certain the wine was ready for the customer's enjoyment at the time of opening the bottle. Did not believe that they should have to age the wine for five years prior to enjoying it. So uh, Ignacio Degadillo Sr. came from Mexico with literally just the shirt on the, his back and a number of personal belongings 35, 40 plus years ago. He worked in numerous vineyards throughout Napa Valley, provided for his family, then landed at Freemark Abbey, then became the cellar master at Freemark Abbey. John Cochran, how are you? Happy Friday. So as cellar master of Freemark Abbey, back in the 70s and 80s when they were producing some unbelievably noteworthy Cabernets, uh, Ignacio Degadillo Sr. was cellar master. Not a bad gig to have, especially for an immigrant. Fast forward to where we are today, and the Degadillos have been sourcing and or producing wines since the mid-2000s of the best vineyards that they know of in Napa Valley. And they know a thing or two about vineyards because they also have a vineyard management company. So let's get back to this wine. 2009, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. 100 cases. That's all you're going to find of this. 100 cases. Chuck, you need to get some of this. You could pour some of this truck into a, a Coors Light bottle and no one will know, all right? So 100 cases, 100% from Coombsville AVA. So the longest uh, aging AVA, when I say longest aging, strictly because it is the coolest climate AVA is Coombsville. So it has a propensity to hang much longer than all the other AVAs so that cool climate Cabernet is what is so noteworthy about Coombsville. Schrader sources from there. Quintessa sources from there. Uh, Maroon is a big fan of Coombsville. You know, a lot of these great wineries are sourcing from Coombsville. It 
It's just impeccably dense. Rebecca Burnick, how are you, young lady? It is just, it's got layer upon layer, and we've had this open for about 45 minutes, so I highly recommend that. It is just inky dark in color, and just explodes with fruit, but it has nuance and layer and substance, and everything about a great Cabernet that you want to have. It is delicious. As I said, this is the fifth Cabernet Sauvignon that we have featured from Degadillo. Hello, Trisha. And it hopefully won't be the last. There, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very small allocation that Ignacio now affords us. He has basically kicked us to the curb and said, you're only going to get this much. I'm just teasing Iggy. Uh, when we met Iggy, he was single. Iggy is now married. He now has an absolutely gorgeous child, and he is still producing impeccable fruit throughout it all. Do yourselves a favor. There's less than three cases right now in CellarAngels.com. It's not going to last through the weekend, especially a long weekend like this at Labor Day. And speaking of the weekend, let's get to the big announcement, all right? We are saddened. We are uh, extremely shocked by everything we've seen down in Texas with regards to the hurricane. The numbers are off the charts. No one knows what is happening with regards to the numbers. Our hearts go out to everyone involved in the hurricane region, not just Texas, all right? And, and I wore this Texas shirt. Don't adjust your screens. It is orange. I don't look good in orange, but it is orange. Louisiana. Uh, and there's parts of Texas right now, and not to make light of it, they need our help. So here's what Cellar Angels is going to do. For the entire month of September, the entire month, the next 30 days, every single order on CellarAngels.com where you select Hurricane Relief, Cellar Angels will match the contribution as a result of your order for the next 30 days. So this isn't a Texas problem. This isn't an American problem. This is a human problem. And that's where the solution can come from, all right? It's all up to us. We can do this. We don't need government. We don't need bureaucrats. All you need to do is get to your computer, place an order on CellarAngels.com, check Hurricane Relief, and we will double the contribution. The number of bottled water that they're going through is upwards, I think I heard, of 2 million bottled water a day. Over 100,000 homes destroyed. 36,000 people displaced, and it's growing, not to mention the number of dead. So it's up to us, and, and we hope we can count on you because angels everywhere recognize the value of good wine, but they also recognize that people need assistance. And so that is our big announcement tonight. We want you to help. We want you to purchase some wine. We want you to select Hurricane Relief, and we want to make a difference. You guys are the best. I want you to enjoy some of this Degadillo Cellars. It's not going to last through the weekend. Thank you so much for all your support. Be good to one another. It's a long weekend. Happy Labor Day, everyone. Thank you for all the support. Cheers.